Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the young adult novel Essence, and today I'm going to be doing all the different types of nonfiction books that you may want to read if you want to be an author someday. Now, the first half are going to be books about writing, and then the second half are going to be books about um, basically marketing your book and selling it to a publisher and different things like that. So the first thing we have is my favorite one, which is Stephen King's On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft. This is basically a book about how Stephen King started writing himself, and it says, like, all his morals on writing. And this, you guys pr will probably cringe, but I have written all over this book and highlighted things and underlined things. But I also wrote in the margins, but we're not going to talk about that. I know some people hate that, but I love this book. This is always my number one recommendation when it comes to books about writing. Next, we have Bird by Bird by Anne Lamont. And this is sort of like the, a similar thing where it's an author's point of view on writing and it's about how she writes and her points of view and like she just has different things. I think it has a little bit of a story about herself intertwined in there, but it's mostly about writing. I didn't like it as much as I did Stephen King's book, but it's still a very good book to read if you want to be inspired to write. Here we have Writing the Breakout Novel, Insider Advice for Taking Your Fiction to the Next Level. And it's written by Donald Mass, and if you guys did not know, Donald Mass is a huge literary agent, and I actually saw a little poll thing where he's the agent who most people query to. And with that said, he's also the agent that he rejects the most. Um, but he's basically, like, way up there in terms of representation in the publishing industry. So this basically goes through what makes a breakout novel, how it sells, and different stuff like that. So this has a lot of tips on writing. Here we have Help for Writers, 210 Solutions for the Problems Every Writer Faces by Roy Peter Clark. And... I actually like this book because this isn't something you need to read in like one sitting. Like the chapters are decently short because there's 210 of them and it's not like this huge book. But it's something where if you're stuck one day or something you can just like pick it up and start in the middle of the book and it doesn't really matter or at least that's what I do. Now we're going into writing to agents and getting a publisher and these are the books you want to look into for that. And here we have the Writer's Digest Guide to Query Letters by Wendy Burt Thomas. You guys have heard me talk about this a lot. And this is basically the book I use to learn how to write query letters. I have a lot of sticky notes, things underlined. It walks you through what exactly is a query letter. Mind you, a query letter is only one page, but this is a decently thick book about a one-page thing. So that just shows how much work goes into a query letter. So now you've got the query letter, but you don't know who to send it to. That's what one of these ginormous books are for. If you don't like the internet, you can use agentquery.com to find an agent who will be interested in your book, or you can buy one of these. We have the Writer's Market. They come out with a new one of these every year because the industry is constantly changing. Some people are accepting query letters, some people aren't, and this is basically up to date for that year. I have the 2011 edition, and it has everything from publishing companies to agents to small press to magazines to trade journals, playwriting, contests and awards, and all that fun stuff. And it's really thick, and yeah... It basically has everybody who's in the industry of publishing in this book, so that's why it's so ginormous. Last but not least, we have Making the Perfect Pitch, How to Catch a Literary Agent's Eye by Katherine Sands. And this is another book about writing a query letter and how to write that perfect hook. And again, a query letter is only one page, but obviously there's a lot more that goes into that than we think. Um, again, there's a whole bunch of dog-eared stuff. I think it says how to write um, a proposal also. I'm not completely sure. It's been a while since I've read this. But it's also just a good thing to get your head into the game of selling yourself to a publisher. So those are my book recommendations. I might make another book recommendation for people who want to self-publish rather than traditionally publish because there's also another pile of books for that because that's another huge step and completely different 
from just writing to an agent. So thank you for watching and comment below if you have any other book recommendations. And if you've read these books themselves, tell me what you thought. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Mm -hmm.